Welcome back. Casey Campbell here with Great Lakes Post. We are pleased to be joined by Stefan Parsons, who will be going full time next year in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, driving the number 99 for BJ McLeod Motorsports. Uh, of course, um, with some with SoCal and spring rates on the car. Uh, what's up, man? Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. All right. So kind of talk about this. What, what was it like to finally get this out there? Yeah, it's just, it's super exciting. You know, it's something I've, uh, something I've dreamed about since I was, uh, since ever since I can remember, um, knowing about it for a little bit, been working on it for a long time, uh, since the winter. Um, but to have it done is, uh, a very good feeling and, uh, it was cool to get it out there and, and announce it on race hub. It was cool for, cool for me and cool for SoCal and Mark SoCal and BJ and everybody involved. It's just super cool. And uh, yeah, it's just it's a surreal feeling. Do you feel like you had to do it on a race hub where your where dad goes and works every day? No, I, I mean, I did not. I, I would have been happy with anything really, um, but we felt like that was the best way to get it out there with uh, with our partners with SoCal and for for the team. We just thought that would be a good uh, a good way to put it out there. Yeah, man. <laughs> Um, I, I know you've worked on this for a long time and just trying to, you know, figure out everything and stuff, but kind of talk about what this has been because you've driven part time for the last three years. Now you're going full time and to do it with BJ, the, the, someone who has someone you've driven for since I think 2019, just kind of go into that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something that was always the, uh, the goal. Um, ever since we started at BJ's ever since, uh, the first time I walked in the door and he was the first guy to really give me a shot without, I mean, I didn't really have any per particular credentials to my name in NASCAR at least. And he gave me a shot, took a chance on me and, uh, we ended up running really well in 2019 and then was able to, to run some races and last year and then obviously had a good deal this year and we've just been trying to build a program honestly we've been trying to bring on partners and and uh build our program my program personally and bj's program as well getting some better cars um just trying to we've always been trying to work for the future and we always knew what we wanted to do which which was this was go full-time uh but never necessarily knew how or if it would happen um but been super blessed to have Mark SoCal come on board and, and take a chance on me and BJ. Uh, and we're just all really, really excited. Do you feel like you got, some, do you feel like you have like something to prove next year because, you know, you've driven part time and it's like, oh, let's see what you can do full time. Now he's going full time. Now we got to see what we can do. I mean, yeah, you always feel like you have something to prove, right? You always got to keep that that drive, you know, that drive to stay here and, and to show you belong here. But um, you'd also don't want to overstep and put yourself in bad situations either. Um, I felt like running on a part-time basis, you have limited opportunities to show your potential, show what you can do. And running 33 races, uh, it makes it a lot easier to show that not only you can go fast, you can do it, but you can be consistent throughout a whole season. So that's important for us, and that's what we want to go. What we want to do, we definitely want to put ourselves in a good position and and uh, put ourselves in a good spot for points, and just uh, be able to be good and consistently run good for thirty three races. So how did you? So who was the first person that you told? Uh, so I told my girlfriend first, but it was funny. I I talked about it on Race Hub. I was at the simulator. I had to go to the simulator at, at noon. And uh, I knew that the meeting was happening at 10 and obviously I couldn't go because I had to go to the simulator. So, uh, I mean, I was waiting from 10 to 12 to get a phone call or anything about how it went or how it was going. And we were all pretty confident about, uh, where, it, what, what it was going to turn into, but we didn't know hundred percent. And as I was getting the simulator, the, uh, Mark and my dad and BJ all called me, uh, together, they were all together and, and told me that we were, we were going to do it. And that was just a really cool feeling and such a relief. And then I had to go do the simulator for the next two or three hours. And then finally I could get out and call people and 
you know, talk to people about it, obviously close to me. So, um, but yeah, it was a cool experience. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay. So that's what your plan is next year, but what's your plan for the rest of this year? Yeah. So we're going to run the Rovo in a couple of weeks and, uh, I believe we're going to run Phoenix as well. So, uh, we've got a good schedule to round out the year and build some momentum into, uh, into the next year. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, definitely fun to see you go full time. It's, uh, um, yeah, I mean, so definitely, uh, definitely fun to see that. And just, you know, you talk about the partners that you've got and you've got so many new partners just this year. Um, what's that, what's that been like to, to convince them to like, mm, maybe let's go full time. It's been really cool. Uh, we've, we've grown, we've grown the SoCal program from one race last year to, I don't even know, eight or eight or nine this year and then to 33 next year and, and spring rates as well was on board with me for a few races last year and uh, came on board for um, a few races this year, three races this year and I'm gonna have them back next year as well. So it's been really cool just to, to build a program and, and to be able to um, put in that kind of effort and work to make uh, not only our partners happy, but uh, to build into something where we can go to the racetrack every weekend. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, definitely, definitely fun to you know, see all that. All right. Well, Stefan, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. Um, and congratulations on the big announcement. Can't wait to see you out there in the, uh, in the SoCal car next season. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm excited.